In our previous videos, we have shown how we can load a data table from a database and uh, how we can add some rows to this data table and uh, how we can perform a distinct selection to this data table. And finally, we have also shown how we can filter the rows of the data table based on some parameters. Now, let's uh, uh, do something else and let's show how we can check if a column inside the data table exists. Let's, for example, add a label to our page so we can display our results. Let's add a couple of line breaks and let's add a label. Run a server, run a server, ID equal to label one, and let's give a default text as no, we will understand later why I have chosen this default text. So let's now go to our code behind and let's say if data table dot column dot contain contains which column let's uh, check if contains the column called the size in this case let's uh, let's write in the label equal to exist And let's now check if everything works fine. And in fact, it exists. Now, let's, for example, say instead of size, let's input some invalid value. And let's check now. And in fact, it will say, no, it doesn't exist, this data column. Now, let's perform some more more uh, information and let's uh, let's try to get the row numbers of this data table to get this no, the row number we must say label one dot to text equal to now let's say data table dot rows dot count we must uh, uh, this will return an integer, so we must say to string. And now let's view it. Yes, save. Nine rows. Two, four, six, eight, nine rows. Perfect. Now let's comment this out again. And let's move on and uh, and try to get all the column names from the data table. Let's imagine that we don't know the names or for any reason we need to know the column names and we can do like this. Let's first of all declare a string, a string and let's call it column name equal to uh, string.empty just to declare it. And now let's make a for each loop and we will say for each data column, data column in a column, in data table dot column. And now we need to say column names column name plus equal uh, plus equal to column column dot column name let's add at the end a comma just to separate the values 
And now we can say label one dot text equal to column name. And here we are. Size and sex. Okay, we might want uh, to remove the comma, so uh, column names dot substring, and now we can say from zero to column name dot length minus one, so we remove the last comma, and here we are. I forgot the one. Okay, size and sex. Doesn't uh, strictly belong to the data table demonstration, but we could also uh, show the column names one, uh, one name per each row. And to do that, we could have done like this. String, let's declare a string uh, column equal to column name dot split, and let's split it in uh, with the comma as a separator. And now we could have done for each. For each, um, for each bar, bar, uh, column in column and we can put a and it's still a string.empty and now we can say column column equal to let's say plus equal to, plus equal to sorry columns plus equal to Plus, let's put a line break. Okay, sorry, the I declared the, the variables in a not very nice way, so I got confused. I hope I didn't mess up something and no. okay here we are size and sex one per each row okay well, let's uh, uh, con we will continue in uh, the next video with other with other demonstrations thank you for listening